Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 3, Lesson 8, More Array Algorithms, Exercise Number 2. We have an investigate and modify. We're going to run the program to observe the results. Then we're going to experiment with the program by making the following modifications. We're going to change one line at a time, then run the program after each change to observe the results. Before we jump into what we have to change, let's take a look at our code. We're instantiating a new object, my file reader. It is of the file reader class. It is passing along one parameter, states names. We're creating a new array, states names. It's a string. It looks like it is equal to my file reader from up here. And we're getting the string data and passing 50 along as a parameter. Then from the same my file reader object we instantiated, we're going to call the set file method and pass along population.txt. Then we're creating another array population. It's an integer. It is using the my file reader object and calling the get int data method and passing along 50. Finally, it looks like we are instantiating another new object, my states, from the states class. It is passing along two things states names, one of the arrays we created up here, population the other array that we created. Then my states is calling the print pairs method and passing along population. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Let's take a look at file reader. We're importing the three imports from our last lesson. This is our scanner class, and I don't think we're gonna be using it to get user input, but just checking to make sure if something is either an integer or a string, I bet. Our java.io file, this is saying, hey Java, we're using text files and this is going to be the file name to the path. And the file I link will be the path to that information. Finally, we have this java.io file not found exception. And we learned last lesson, if we don't have this, we get an error when we import text files. Down here, we have two variables, file reader, my file. They are of the scanner and file class that we're importing from above. File reader reads the file and file is the object containing the actual data that we read. We have one constructor file reader. It is passing a file name along and using a set file method in there. Set file looks like it is getting one parameter file name, which is our parameter we're getting passed up here. It is creating a new object, my file, which is equal to a file name. Then we're creating that scanner class. Here's that public scanner create scanner. And this is setting it to null temporarily. And then we have our exception error code. Below that, we have our get in data. This looks exactly like what we used in our previous exercise. We're looking through the array and the array, how long is it? Well, that's whatever number we pass it is going to be 50 in this one. Then our file reader is checking to make sure the number is an integer. If it is, we'll get true and we'll get it added. If not, it's false. We close the method down. Looks like we have get string data. This one is using has next line. So instead of looking for a next integer, this is looking for the next string. So this looks like it's going to look through the state names. And as long as it's a name, it's going to get added to our values array. And that means our get in data will be population. That looks like all the code here. Under states, we have two arrays, state names and data. We're creating one object. It has two parameters. We have a set method and we have a new method called print pairs. And the print pairs looks like it's comparing the values at one index to another, whatever index we're on, plus the one next to it. And we haven't seen compare values yet. Oh, that's right here. Compare values is taking two parameters and it's just seeing if the first is bigger than the second. 
there's our two parameters, our index we're at and one index next to it. It's just comparing the two and seeing which is larger. This one right here is looking through the entire state names and seeing if the one is larger than the next. I wonder if they're dealing with names, population, or areas. Hmm, should think about that, kids. No other code. State names is a text file. This looks like all of the states in the United States. Population, this looks like the population of each state. And then areas looks like the total area of each state. Let's look and see what we have to do. What happens when we run the program and it looks like what line is causing the error? Spoiler alert, looks like we're gonna get one. First, Let's answer the first part. What do I think is going to happen here? I think we're going to call some methods and we're going to compare the populations against each other. That means I think Alabama is going to compare against Alaska and then Alaska will compare against Arizona and then so on and so on. It's going to compare which one is larger or smaller. Let's see if we're right, kids. That's a lot of text that just printed off. We get an error too. And it looks just like what I said is happening. Alabama is comparing against Alaska. Alaska is comparing against Arizona. Arizona, Arkansas, so on, so on. And we're seeing whether or not the population is larger than the other. We do get an error, kids. And this is our old friend, array index out of bounds. Index 50 is out of bounds for a length 50. Remember it's zero through 49, but we have 50. I think we remember how to fix that. Let's clear this off. Let's go down here and let's go down to states. Let's look for our loop. And our length here, I think should be minus one. Well, this also looks like exactly what they want us to do for number two. So I think we're right. I think when we run this, we're going to get all 50 states without any errors. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. And we got Wisconsin and Wyoming to compare. Let's take care of our final thing. In my console Java, add the following lines of code. We're gonna change the file to areas text, and then it looks like we're gonna compare area. Let's go ahead and copy all of this, Control C. Come over here, tab over, Control V. We get all our information in. We're running the same set file, same print pairs, polymorphism kids. I think we're going to get this statement to print off. We just did. And now we're going to override the print pairs method. And I think print pairs was in states. It is. And this time, instead of saying has a larger than state names, I think we're going to get area and square miles. So it's going to say Vermont has and then it's going to give us the square miles because we're getting that data set, then Virginia, and then I'll say true and false. Let's see if I'm right, kids. So much information, except it didn't print off the square miles in area. And we could probably fix it to do that. We're not going to do it in this lesson, but it did essentially what I thought. We changed from population two square miles, we overrode that print method to print square miles instead of population. Pretty neat, kids. Key takeaways for this lesson, kids, is really understanding this file reader.java class that we're working with. Understanding you're probably going to need these three import statements understanding why we have this piece of code and what a file not found exception error is, 
and that's just an error we get in Java when we try to use text files. Finally, look how we're using our old friend scanner. Instead of getting a user input, we're getting a file to do that input. And we're just checking to make sure that the input is the same data type that we want. This algorithm printed off two pairs of information and compared them against each other. This is an important algorithm to know. And I am pretty sure for your final lesson, you're gonna to have to do something like this. So take note what we did here, look at the code, look how we compared values, because we're gonna use this again. Hopefully kids, this helped you understand more array algorithms a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later kids, bye.